we are going to work on our three finger directional placing exercise first because I really think you can conceptualize this a little bit better with three or four fingers than you can with two fingers. So we'll step backwards and do two fingers next. Um, but we're just gonna work in one direction at a time. Then we'll start to mix up the directions so that you can see how direction of placing really works. Um, here, we'll just choose a C major triad. Notice that I put my fingers on the strings together because that's the first bracket that you'll see. And then we're going to play up to the G. G is our pivot note. So the only string that we're playing from G down to C is G then C. So we play G. Now we're going back up again. So I put two and one on together. Okay, so now we'll change directions. We'll start from G and we'll just work down. Now my thumb is the only one that's playing up and then these guys are playing down. G in the left hand. With my C being my pivot note and my G being my pivot note. Okay, now taking that a step further, we would just move up in a scale-like fashion, but continuing to keep that triad form. So that means stacked thirds, um, where we have two sets of thirds on top of each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from C, then I'm gonna move to a D chord, etc., etc. So as we move down, my third finger goes on to D, two, one, on F, and A. Moving up, letting my elbow guide, guide my arm out and back. Continuing, closing into my palm after playing each time. Okay, so now we'll go down, same descending pattern. Starting with the thumb. Notice that two and three now go on together. And I'm playing nice and even. Trying to stay in control the whole time of being very even and very conscious of your articulation. So we'll do some of that on the left. two and one together as we go up and third finger only as we play down. You can work on speed after you get the control of it at a very slow tempo. Now instead of just doing this hand separately, I'm going to put the hands together. Sometimes that's easier, sometimes that's a little harder. Um, I would say for some people you feel more balanced if you have both hands on. So going down, but both hands are doing same hand position. Thumb up, two and three on together. And we'll speed up. Okay. So that sort of exercise, we are going different directions, but we're mainly going up or mainly going down. When you mix it up a little bit more, um, you can work on exercises that kind of break up your triad. So we're just gonna start with C and G and then add in the E. So from C to G, we're going up. G to E, we're going down. E to G, we're going up. And G to C, we're going down. And back and forth. Noticing which 
which direction you're playing. Because if I add it in the C too early, it would be a struggle not to play it. Okay, and only work on speed if you're really ready for it. Stay nice and slow if that feels comfortable to you.